Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you how to rhinestone and I will be rhinestoning these cute little performing shoes I got. So I started off with the plain little shoes. They're kind of like half ballet shoes with a strap over the foot and a strap that goes around the heel. I got these from Decathlon for £9.99. They're actually listed as rhythmic gymnastic shoes. You'll need something to protect your area, so I used a sheet of paper. You'll also need some glue. I used Gemtac, which I find is a great option for rhinestoning. You can buy this from craft stores or from Amazon. These are the rhinestones that I used. They're from a company called Emas. I have two different sizes and they are clear AB rhinestones. I like these ones because they're not as expensive as Swarovski, but they're still super sparkly. What's great about the Gemtac glue is that it has this thin nozzle for easy application. I start by blobbing the glue in a few places for the bigger rhinestones. Make sure you put on enough of a blob of the glue to surround the whole rhinestone. It will dry clear, so no need to worry about seeing it around the edges. When you put the rhinestones on, you want to press them down into the glue so that it comes around the edges to ensure it really sticks once it's dry. Once my bigger rhinestones are in place, I go ahead and fill in the spaces between with smaller bobs of glue and smaller rhinestones and again, press them into the glue. I do this in smaller portions so that the glue doesn't dry before I have my rhinestones in place. I did also start using some tweezers with the smaller rhinestones, but whatever you find easiest is fine. Here is what this one looks like up close. I just made sure they were all pressed in before moving on to the other shoe. So here we're just doing exactly the same again on the other shoe. And this is what they look like before the glue dries. You want to leave them now for at least 24 hours to dry fully. This is what they look like now the glue has dried. So as you can see, the glue has dried clear and you can't see it. At this point, you want to make sure they all seem like they're stuck down well. And if any seem a bit wobbly, just add a bit more glue and wait again for it to dry. I really like the sparkle on these, but I feel like there are still quite a few gaps. So I decided to add some more smaller rhinestones in the gaps. These are actually hot fixed rhinestones, which I just had lying around, but that's why the back looks black. They're not as sparkly as the EMAS ones, but I think they will still add to it. Again, I'm just going to glue them on. This is what it looks like with the extra rhinestones. You can see the difference between the shoe with the extra stones and the shoe without. I really like the look of the whole shoe being covered in stones and I also like the different sized rhinestones. Time to do the other one. And this is what they look like together. So now I'll just wait for the glue to dry again to see the final look. And here they are on my feet, all finished and dried. I absolutely love them and I think they will finish my costumes off nicely and I cannot wait to wear them. If you have enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel. I hope to put out more crafty content soon and until then, it's bye from me. Oh, 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 o